<laughs> it's early in the morning and I'm watching Gordon Ramsay on the TV. <laughs> Come here guys. We're having one of those one of those mornings. Morning cruisy bear. Hi buddy. Serving old poorly cooked seafood. Oh guys. Sometimes I wonder how I keep producing so many damn videos. Like, how exciting can my life in this van be? <laughs> oh, so, getting up this morning and taking a look around my van, seeing how dirty things are, I think, I think we need to do some house maintenance today. I've got some really gross stuff accumulating around my roof fan. It needs to be fully taken apart, I think, and fully cleaned. But I'm feeling like this guy today. Hey, buddy. <sighs> Welcome to my day. In a video recently, I mentioned that I needed to do something over here. So I used to have these flowers that went up here and strung across and went down. I have been to five, six, ten thousand dollar stores okay three <laughs> and nobody has the flowers that i bought all their flowers are sold out so i seen these things i just need to fill up the hole to me that looks a little naked so i got these things there were two bucks i figure maybe we'll just maybe we'll just Maybe? <laughs> I figured I'd, I'd two bucks if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. There we go. <laughs> One project done. So far, I don't mind the look of these. That looks pretty good, I would say. Anyway, I'm gonna make some food. Here's what we're doing. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I got this. It's a pre-cooked little roast thing from Costco. It's already pre-cooked. It just needs to be seriously warmed up in an oven. I don't have an oven. So right now we have this pan nice and warm. It's on simmer and I have a completely hot pan that I'm going to be sticking over top of this one. Creating this into like a bit of a Dutch oven without putting coals and stuff on the top. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're just trying to be a little bit innovative here, creating heat from the top, heat from the bottom, and nicely warming up that roast. We're just gonna be spreading or pulling that roast apart and putting it on buns and having a little lunch. We're gonna, it's cause this gravy looks delicious. Unbelievable. All the vegans on my channel are freaking out right now. Just pulls apart. <laughs> yeah. Going to Costco with my buddy Daniel and his little bro there. Well, <laughs> bad idea. We got We got lots of Oh, that's nothing. You wait. <laughs> got LED lights. 
I figured because I'm putting rooftop storage, hold on, it's upside down. Because I'm putting rooftop storage on the top of my van, I'll have more room to put things, which means I could buy fun stuff like this. So when my awning is out somewhere, we can plug in these little LED lights. It's 48 feet long and it only draws 24 watts for an entire set. <laughs> when you live in a van, don't shop at Costco. We have an insane amount of things here. That looks good, doesn't it? Like a double pack of hummus because, well, you need lots of hummus. I'm making a mess in your driveway, buddy. <laughs> your neighbors are looking, there's this homeless guy just in front of his <laughs> I had these um, the other day and they're literally like a mixed hash brown. So it's got all that stuff in it, like bacon and peppers and yeah, like dream hash browns in a bag. Then we got some dried stuff like some figs, <laughs> some blueberries, some black bean burgers, <sighs> some butter chicken stuff and some salads. Cause that's my groceries. <sighs> now that the weather's getting warmer, my cooler is losing ice like crazy. And when you do large grocery hauls like you do today, trying to fit that in a cooler that's 50% full of ice is sometimes a little bit impossible. <laughs> the crew's over there looking a little bit, a little bit worried. What's up, what's wrong buddy? All right, we're gonna go stick some of the things in there that are frozen inside of Daniel's house until we're ready to hit the road. So we're not here for a couple of days and that stuff thaws out in my cooler. That's the only thing about not having an actual freezer or a real fridge with the freezer side is that when you do buy things like frozen hash browns, you have a very limited amount of time. Whoa, cruisy. You have a very limited amount of time and you gotta eat it like real quick. You know, instead of just leaving it in the freezer and let it stay frozen and eat it whenever you're ready. Okay, we're coming. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Hey, we're coming, buddy. I just fit a ginormous bag of rice in, in there. Um, we definitely have no shortage of this stuff in the van. Um, as soon as my new roof racks come in, which should be in the next week, um, I plan on reorganizing everything inside of the van and getting some stuff in here out of there to open up for real life storage, you know? Man, we got lots of stuff going on today, guys. So my racks at the powder quarter right now getting done. Uh, that should be done by the end of the day. Okay, I can't wait any longer. I need to take a look inside of here. All right, all right. 
So all the bulbs come separately. Yeah, guys, this is awesome. So the reason why I got this is I plan on stringing these up. It's pretty heavy, actually. Um, maybe trees around the campsite, plugging it into the jackery or um, running it around my awning. So I got some light out front. If I'm ever parked somewhere for a couple of days, I think having these would be kind of nice. I know there's been many times um, at some of my gatherings I've had, like Christmas Eve and stuff like that, where it'd be nice to have some light around the front of the house because I don't have porch lights on my van. So this was like 40, 45 bucks at Costco or something like that. So the price wasn't so bad. Let's check out these bulbs. Yeah, the little bulbs, they're LED. Says that they're waterproof, that the bulbs are shatterproof, probably within, never mind, they're shatter resistant, which means they have some resilience. <laughs> I'm excited about little purchases like these ones. And that is a very special delivery box from somebody just for my daughter. And she's going to freak out when she sees what's inside of it. But I'm not allowed to tell you guys because the person has asked that we keep it private. Whoa. <laughs> How's that for a tan? We got a bunch of stuff we have to do today. Uh, drop my ladder off of the powder coater. That's already been done. New seat cover. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, pick this up at Canadian Tire. Super nice. Super stoked. They didn't have a second one for Cruz's seat. He's very upset. But uh, I think I might be buying like a puppy one for that. Something I could just take off, shake out, and nothing ever gets stuck to it. But uh, yeah, super stoked. Bought this one. It was about 50 bucks here uh, from Canadian Tire. Anyway, um, we could probably scratch that one off of there. A metal track for my floor. So right here, you'll see there's a divide between my vinyl and my front. And it lifts up here. I'm going to put a little metal track across here just to kind of secure it down and uh, keep this from, from wrecking anymore. So that's on my to-do list. Oh, and then pet cruisy bear is always on my to-do list, right, buddy? Don't forget to pet me, Dad. Don't forget to pet me. And uh, replace the front window. Whoa, say what? Does it really say replace the front window? Yeah, so on the front of my window, I got a giant crack that goes all the way along, all the way down the other side and pops up over there. And we are replacing that. In about 10 minutes, we drop the van off to get a new window. Much needed, and I know a lot of you guys in the comments are like, Chrome, when are you gonna replace the window? Chrome, when are you gonna replace the window? I'm doing that today. All right, van's in getting the glass replaced, which means it's just us two lonesome boys out here for a stroll. Um, they may have it for a little while, so he figures between two and four hours. Let's hope it's closer to two hours because <laughs> what are we gonna do out here? All right, you guys, back at the glass shop. Looks like the van might be done. <laughs> yeah. Holy damn, you guys, look how spotlessly clean this window is. It's like it's not even there. That's insane. 